Hello everyone, welcome to Hornet Highlights. I'm Matt Ryan, principal at East Hartford High School. Today I am joined by 12th grader Alina Hong. Alina, thanks for joining me in my office today for of Hornet course, Highlights. Of course. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. So, Alina, let's get straight to it. Um, you won an award um, for like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, there's a cheerleading competition in the state of Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know anything about cheerleading until <laughs> I started working here. Yeah. Right. And at that point, we had won a few state championships. Yes. Yeah. Right. You see the banners hanging yeah. in the gym. Um, but I know there's some special awards. So what award did you win? Yeah, so every year your coach recommends you, um, recommends a senior for this award. And they only select one person throughout the whole state of Connecticut. And fortunately enough, I was selected as cheerleader of the year. Cheerleader of the year in the whole state? Yes, exactly. And so what, what are a couple of things there? It's like you have to obviously be, be a leader, yeah. right? That's one of the characteristics I remember. Um, but what are the a couple other things that got you this award of cheerleader of the year? Really just like your performance, your dedication to the sport. Um, now, a couple other things that I don't, I don't think people know is mm -hmm. cheerleading really has two components to it at East Hartford High School, yeah. right? There's the cheer that happens at football games and basketball games, mm -hmm. right? But then there's the competitive cheer. Exactly. And people don't know what that entails. Yeah. So I want to just let, I've seen the cheerleaders work out, right? Yes. Preseason workouts, even through the season workouts. And these are some of the most rigorous workouts I've ever seen, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like, so what are some of the things you guys have to do to get ready? I mean, besides cheerleading, that's one thing. Yeah. But this competitive cheer, you're talking fitness level through the roof. Yeah, so I'd say, like, it's probably one of the most, like, challenging sports. It's not even just about, like, yourself. Like, in most sports, it's just individual. Right. But with cheerleading, it's really a group effort. And so you have to start very early in the season so that you, not only you, but your whole team builds up to work together to win competitions and yeah. stuff like that. And you guys, like, were in several different competitions yep. through like from February through March, yep. correct? Mm -hmm. So you had the CCCs. What were some of the other ones you had? Um, we had some like local competitions in like Killingly High School, Danbury High School, and then coming to that, we had states. And then yep. after states, we had our last competition at Team of the Year. And that's where you won your, your individual yep. award. Yep. Yeah, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. So how long have you been doing cheerleading? Um, ever since middle school. Middle school? Yeah, I transitioned from doing gymnastics and then in seventh grade or in eighth grade, I tried out for okay. the middle school team. So did you grow up going to gymnastics like when you were little? Um, not, not that little, but like, yeah, I'd say elementary school I started. Okay. Yep. And then... I quit seventh grade and then I was like, you know what, I might as well continue something along the lines of gymnastics. Yeah. And so I started cheerleading and then I pursued it onto my high school career. Wow, wow, that's great. So the team is made up of um, your cheerleaders, yep. and, but there's, I believe there's different positions. Yeah. Like so, every sport has their own position. So yeah, what are exactly. these positions? So we have like flyers, the people you see in the air, okay. and then people holding them are like the bases, and okay. then you have your back spots, and then you have tumblers as well. Some people do both, but yeah. Which one are you? Um, I did like all sorts. I based in a couple of the stunts. I also flew. And then I also did tumble as well. Wow. Yep. Wow. So, I mean, I see you guys fly through the air. I just get so <laughs> nervous every yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Do you yeah. get nervous, like, when they're throwing you? Yeah, but at the same time, it's like you practice through all that, and then you learn to just, like, be more confident in doing the skills and such. And it's right. really all about, like, trust as well, because, like, if you don't trust who's underneath you, then it's not really, like... It's not going to go well. Right. Yeah. And so the, let's go to your trust comment because I feel like your team is so close. Yeah. Um, what? Why do you think that is? Like, what are some things that coach does and you guys do that you really do have a, a good bond? It seems like. Yeah. Some of us are just like we've been doing this since middle school, all three, all throughout our senior year. So we've been like close together. We've learned to trust each other. Other than that, like we go out, we do some team bonding activities outside of school and as well as during practices as well. We play some team games to make sure that we can build that connection with each other yeah. so that coming through doing the sport, it's more trust in our 
It seems like it. Yeah. It seems like it. that's great. All right. So how do you balance your your academic course load? Mm -hmm. You can talk about some of the courses you're in with the time that you guys have spent in practice because you're there before all the other teams and yep. you're there after the other teams. Um, just working it out, working it out with our coach and as well because obviously we're student athletes, so of course we have to care about our academics more. Right. But at the same time, yeah, just working out with our coach, working it out each other too because some of us have the same classes and you know cheerleading like or the people in our sport we're very close together and yeah. so that builds on and we're able to talk to each other and not even just about cheer but also academics as well yeah so it's nice to have like people on your team who are not just your teammates but also like your classmates as yeah. well good good so how about um school so what are some of the classes that you've taken and what are two of your most favorite classes you've had? <laughs> um, I take a couple of AP courses throughout like my sophomore to senior year. Um, I'd say some of my favorite are some of my favorites are AP Calc and like even just like choir as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's two different areas. I like yeah, that. Very I like that. Broad, yeah. What about what about for next year? Like, what are you thinking? Uh, what What is your plan for next year? Um, I am going to attend a four-year college. Yeah. I'm not sure yet, still waiting on some schools, but I'd like to also continue my cheerleading career through college oh, as wow. well. Yeah. How does that work? Do you have like tryouts? Do you have to contact the coach? Like, What does that look like? Yeah, so right now I'm trying to attend some clinics um, to get my name out there, you know? Yeah. And then, yeah, tryouts are just a couple months away, so I'm really trying to work on those skills to hopefully be able to join some or a college cheer team. All right. So if all of the colleges you apply to accept mm -hmm. you, yeah, uh, and they're all free, hopefully, right, right. Yeah. Uh, where would you want to go? Well, it's also just like academics too. I yeah. Hopefully Duke. But okay. If. I also like to stay local, UConn as well. They're okay. very close. Duke or home. UConn, yep. oh, arch rivals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's who the UConn women play in the game coming up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so what are you, where does your family want you to go? Are they like, you can go wherever you want, or are they kind of like, you got to stay close? Yeah, they'd like me to stay close um, in the Northeast. So that's why I'm considering UConn, because yeah. it's more local, and I'll still be able to be in contact with my family yeah. and stuff nice. like that. Yeah. So you've been very successful here at East Harford High School. Thank you. Um, on the court, in the classroom. Uh, your parents must be proud. Thank you. <laughs> um, so tell us, who is an adult, and it could be from anywhere in your life, that is like the biggest influence on you? Um, I probably have to say my brother. You know, he's been pushing me ever since day one to do, and he's been very supportive of like my academics and then also my cheerleading career as well. Wow. So, yeah. That's great. Yeah. And how much older is he than you? He's three years older than me. Three years. Yeah. Okay. Three years. All right. So he would, he fits in that five-year window that you guys yeah. are pretty probably pretty close. Exactly, yeah. yeah. That's great. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks for joining me on Hornet Highlights today. Of course. Really appreciate you. Keep me posted on our college plans. Will Ours, do. I mean yours. Will do. Will All right? do. Yes. So thank you very much. Of course.